That is a stunning piece of wood. I would have never thought in a million years that that so would have ended up coming out. I don't even see it very well because the, it's so shiny, the uh, lights reflect off of it. But I took that bit. So this is the project, um, I'm calling it my prehistoric bowl as you can see from the title. The reason being is because um, it's old, chunky and rough around the edges just like me. So. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, nothing else to say really, it's failed, That's no good. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys next week, fresh new project, one that works, and take care, speak to you soon, and bye for now. Good afternoon all, how are we? Thank you very much for coming and joining us. Hope everybody is well on this cold, wet, miserable Sunday. It's absolutely tipping down here and it's been like it all blooming morning. So anyway, we're here in a warm workshop. What more could we want? So thanks everybody for coming over and joining us. And thank you to everybody who came and said hello yesterday. Who was at the Newark show? If you're in the chat or if you watch this video later on, it's always good to meet some people that uh, follow the channel. Even though I can't always remember your name, but thank you very much for the support. I really do appreciate it. Um, I know I bumped into Steve Hale, Vinny, uh, Roy's the boy, Robert Broughtwood, uh, uh, Wayne and Valerie, Mark and Jennifer Strawton. Uh, so many people I bumped into. Barry Oak and obviously Claire. Oh, look, my earworms just turned up. <laughs> Can you hear me, mate? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, you can hear me. Um, so yeah, so it's always great to um, uh, it's always great to uh, meet you guys, and thank you very much, everybody who came up and said hello. Oh, and also Haley, uh, Haley came up and said hello as well. So anyway, Nick's not here today because obviously it's Mother's Day. She's spending some time with the girls, so we'll give her a little bit of a bereavement. 
and or a, a gas bereavement. Gas, not bereavement, sorry. A bit of a, a breather, I was meant to say. A bit of a breather, I was meant to say, not bereavement. Um, Brian has just jumped in at the last minute. I messaged Brian about 10 minutes ago and said, is there any chance you can worm? And here he is like a superstar. Thank you very much, mate. You're welcome. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a choice. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen my Facebook page this morning. I was lucky enough to grab some of the new Joe Sonia Pearl colours. Um, so I'm going to give you a choice. I can either turn what I was going to turn, the piece of resin, or I've got a piece of ash here that we can turn and then have a play with the new Joe Sonias. So I'm going to give you guys in the chat the choice, what you want to do. Um, I don't mind either or, because I can always try the Joe Sonias during the week and have a play with those. So uh, let me know what you want while we're doing that. Don't forget, you need to get your pictures over your hashtag as well. It needs to be over to me by next Friday. If you haven't already sent them over to me, you need to send them to skcrafts.btinternet.com and then we can add them to the montage for next Sunday. Excuse me. So, I think I think you're just trying to avoid the resin. No, no, no. I don't mind either or. But um, I, th I, I, th well, I think that's what he's doing. I think he's trying to avoid the resin, guys. Uh, he's... <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to try these. You know what I'm like. I get new colours and I want to play with them as soon as I, I get them. Um, so I thought I'd give you guys a choice, and then you know the the choice is this: Ash and Joe, oh. Sonia, Ash and Joe, Ash, Ash. Everybody's going for the Ash at the minute. Hi, Olivia. It kind of looks like it, yeah. Nobody likes resin anyway, so. Nah, it's messy. And to be honest, <laughs> I'll save less time clearing up, won't I? So. There you go, I. Be a free, <laughs> be a thrill seeker, resin. <laughs> oh, well done, Chris. Everybody said ash. I think I think the majority is ash. I will do the resin. But eventually, I mean, you've only been waiting three months to do it now, so. Yeah, I know. Another week or so will not make any difference. I think the ash is going to go for it. Go, right, on, put, go, go on, go with the ash, go yeah, on. Let's put the resin blank over there out of the way. I did drill it just in case. Good, good day. Right, so I will um, get this mounted because I've got to change chucks because this has only got a small hole in the back of it. And uh, I'm sure Brian will welcome you all in while, uh, wow. while I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. So let's get on to a lathe picture that we can see. <laughs> I've tried my best now, anyway. Yeah. I haven't... I, I, See, Steve missed me about 10 minutes ago, and it takes 10 minutes for my computer to warm up. So, so you know, I just throw a log in the fire. I was going to say, did you, not, steam. did you not um, have, have it cold up ready? <laughs> yeah, no. Sorry. <laughs> so, right, let's have a look, see who's in. We've got uh, Len from uh, Woodcraft, <coughs> Handcrafted Designs, should I say. Colin from Wood Wizardry, Norman Greenwell's in. Uh, Rob from Copper Wood Turning, Colin Izzard. Now, the, the ubiquitous Rob from Clingsport, who seems to be everywhere these days. Oh, so famous. But you're, more, but, but you're more than welcome. Um, Todd of Glen Cove. Uh, Christopher Dodds. That's Dodds, they all the way from Australia. Uh, Steve Hale, Robert uh, of the Botwood. Andrew from Wavy's Woodshed. Mike dances with Ard of Marks. Vinnie Charlton, Haley from Woodenborough. Lucy of the Monday Road version. Uh, Amy is in as well. Hi, Amy. I've seen you for a while. Or maybe it's me that's been missing, sorry. Uh, uh, Glenn's in. Hi, Glenn. How's Joe? Uh, I'm surprised that Glenn's in this early in the day. Has he woke up yet? I'm not sure. <laughs> you perhaps didn't be in the bed yet. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. No. Uh, Rob, the prof is in. Uh, and Hi, Andy, Rob. the woodwork learner is in. Who else did I see? Uh, ben is in. Good, day, good afternoon, Ben. Let me see. Call, I said Colin as other thing. But Joe Senior's in as well, so Joe's oh, doing Joe. okay. She's oh, at least okay. watching us today. Thank you, Joe. Hope she's feeling better. Uh, Andy Woodward Leonard says, Brian, you need to do the resin. Heck no, I don't. <laughs> no, let's not put that on, Brian. Let's not put that on, Brian. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Uh, let's see. Amy was in, yeah. Terry from Hacking Knots is in. Hello, Terry. How the devil are you, man? Uh, uh, I've just got a message on on my other system here from Terry to say he's somewhere in the Azores. In the middle of the Arctic. Isn't technology, uh, yeah, isn't, isn't technology wonderful? Uh, I'll creep down at the bottom there. Let me have a quick look down the bottom. If I can get that scroll down. What's Ben saying there? Uh, Boris Wood Creations is in. 
Harry. And Graham Brown's in. Hello. I think, I think I said Vinnie Charlton. Hi, Vinnie. Yeah, you did say Vinnie Charlton. I think I did, yeah. Right, so this I'm just going to turn as a basic platter. Bit of a OG shape on it. Put a tendon on the bottom. It's got a nasty knot in there, which I'll show you. Got a nasty knot in there, so hopefully we can turn a lot of that knot out. Uh, but we're not going to know until we actually do it. So I'm going to round it, and then we're going to get a bit of an OG shape. Tendon in the bottom, uh, because like I say, it's only for show purposes. So let's go right there, was, there, was, there was a whole lot, of, whole lot of knots in that sentence. <laughs> not, 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 not. <laughs> All right, so let's get it turned and see what happens. So I met the professor yesterday as well. We robbed the prof. Yep. Good man. Always nice to put a face to the name. Yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. No, oh, no, Mike G's didn't spoil the party. <laughs> Mike's back. Hi, Mike. Are you? Or Mick, shall I say? Afternoon, Mick. How you doing, buddy? So let's face this off. Uh, did I say Graham Brown was in? Well, just in case he is in. Graham Brown's in. Oh, Graham. <laughs> Oh, she's hard there. Right, I, think I, I think I've caught up with everybody now, so I think we should be okay. We just have to keep an eye on it now, make sure I catch you as you do come in. Let's see how many we've got in today. 38 people watching on this Mother's Day. Thanks, everybody, for coming over. Appreciate it, because I know it's Mother's Day, and obviously you want to be with your loved ones. So here you are with me. <laughs> Adrian Olsen's in, and Christina and Michael Heselton are Hazelton will just join us. Hello, welcome. All right, so we're going to use the SC2 chuck, so we want a tenon of 34 millimetres. So make it slightly large, just got 18 millimetre side, that'd be 36, and then we can just nick it down. So let's just rough cut that, get rid of some of this overburden. Harry's in the mid Atlantic, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's where his oars is, of course, the mid Atlantic. Safest place for him, really. Yeah. He just go around the circle there for a while, Terry. He's fine. He can't get in no trouble out there. Uh, I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> is that going to break out or is that going to be good? Might be good. So, a bit of an OG shape I'm going to get on this. Just really to try and get rid of some of that nasty bit. <laughs> in there. Terry, uh, Terry put a um, um, comment on there. It says, I see him looking young on Steve's picture. <laughs> well, anybody's younger looking than you, Terry. That's for sure. We could put Methuselah up there. He was still look younger than you. Ben's in, and he's talking about food already. He's only in. Oh, it was Lucy's fault, because Lucy asked him what was for lunch today. Oh, that was a surprise. Uh, well, now, what is Ben having for lunch? Cheese and ham roll with about 19 grapes. About 19. That's pretty precise for an about figure. 19 grapes. And some crips, he says. I couldn't eat this. Just... I, I couldn't eat just 19 grapes. No. Uh, if we get a little punnet of grapes, they kind of just go. I don't know where they disappear to, like, they just disappear. You start with one before you know you're left with the stocks. Now, the debate is do you like green grapes or, or, or uh, red? Purple grapes. Red, purple. Whatever colour they are. I prefer red grapes, personally. But my television's on in the sitting room and I can hear it. And somebody is singing religious songs. That's going to have to get turned off. Religious songs? Yep. Songs of praise you're watching, are you? 
that. So let's just get a little tenor on there. That's exactly what was on Steve Song's bread. <laughs> Terry says, trust me, I can get into trouble. Yeah, we know, Terry. <laughs> you can get into trouble in an empty room, big lad. All right, so let's just nick that back. Uh, Frederick Dazen, good afternoon from the wet, overcast and miserable day in the county of Kent in the UK. Temperature is 7 degrees Celsius, which is 44 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> and Amy pipes in and says, oh, it's only 37 degrees here. Oh, really? Really? Uh, Celsius, 37, so. <sighs> Roast them. It's not very warm here either. It's a wet, dreek, miserable day in the north of Ireland, I have to say. Windy, wet and cold. I think it's going to be wet. Go on, go on. No, you're right. Go ahead. I said, I think according to the weather I looked at this morning, it's going to be wet nearly all week. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. well, that'll be fun. That's the, the forecast is not great. Uh, Rex B's in and he oh, says, right. Hi, all. It's a wonderful day to see and listen to Steve, the Steve and Brian show. <laughs> Steve and Brian show. Well, let's just call it this, <laughs> the Steve's magical turnings. Oh. I wouldn't say magical. Magical. Oh, absolutely, Steve. Have you, have you watched any of your videos? Well, I do, but I've got my eyes closed normally. Or maybe we should call them the medical turning guy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh. So, rough shape. So, let's just want to do one final pass just to clean some of these tool marks out of here. What? Yeah. Tool marks? Yeah, tool marks. Tool marks. So, one light pass. Just to clean it up. And Amy says to me, how's the, G the GG's, Uncle Brian? Uncle Brian? Uncle Brian? Oh, that's got, that's got to make you feel old, that is. <laughs> Thank you very much, Amy. As if I don't feel old enough. <coughs> the GG's are doing fine, apart from the one who's never going to be fine. But he's uh, he's comfortable. That's poor like that. Right, so let's get this sanded up quickly. Because we want to get onto the interesting stuff. We don't want to do the basic turn. We want to get onto the interesting stuff. Yeah, slapping paint all over the place. Oh, yeah. What are these uh, um, paints that you've decided to... They are the Joe testing? Sonia Pearl, Pearl paints. Oh, Joe Sonia. Pearlescent? No, Pearl. Pearl? Oh, yeah, per Pearlescent. Yeah, sorry, Pearlescent. Pearlescent yeah. Not iridescent, Pearlescent. So Pearlescent. there's 14 different colours. And I couldn't decide what colours I wanted, so I bought all 14. Sweet. You bought all 14. I might have known that. That's the kind of thing I do. <laughs> oh, decisions, decisions. I'll buy the lot. And Nick did say I could spell tw spend 12 not in iron, but she didn't say well, how many sorry. times. So Yeah. She did it 12 times, yeah. Yes. You're yeah, quite right. And she probably, she's probably not listening. She'll, she'll never know that. <laughs> Uh, I need to read what Leonard says. It's dry where he is. Uh, that's your sir, I believe. Uh, and uh, inside and out, he says he's not even had a couple yet. Well, get off your your end and go and make yourself one. It's perhaps only been up ten I, minutes. Yeah, well, I wish I'd have made one before I came in here. No, me. <laughs> and I'm home alone. I'm home alone today, so there's no chance of Michelle making it. Oh, I was going to say I'll ring Michelle to get her to make you one. But let's be reasonable. There's very little chance of Michelle making it anyway. <laughs> and Adrian Olsen says I still think that resin looks very much like wood steam <laughs> you was it's, late it's, Adrian you was late it's a, yeah it's a skelly has Adrian you know it just yeah, turns resin into wood it's amazing It's a little tiny nick in there, just there. 
I thought it was a blemish in the wood or whatever else. Ooh, Robert Botwood says, I need a dry day. I have a tree that we dropped last week to process into manageable size. Whoa. And I don't like using the chainsaw when it's wet underfoot. Fair enough. Safety first. Exactly. And Adrian, Adrian searched it down and says, I'm always late. <laughs> well, we know, Adrian, you didn't have to tell us that. <laughs> it's pain the obvious, you know. Uh, Mick Jews tipped in and says, the Joe Sonia paints were a good price at the show. Oh, were they now? And you didn't buy me any. Thanks very much for that. That's uh, really much appreciated. <laughs> Aha. Res uh, Rex is asking a question. Have you used uh, the resin powders to fill cracks of weak splits to add colour to turned wood? You can do. Yes. Use epoxy you glue. You could use yeah, the pigments and use epoxy glue. Good, easily. You know, just your normal sort of five-minute epoxy. You can add the uh, the colours into that. It works just the same. Robert Kreinsport says he had a great time at New York. New York. New York. New York. Uh, uh, and he says, I didn't spend anything. Oh, Rob. He's too busy putting out the feeders for new business, that's all it was. That's exactly what that was. He was too busy networking, couldn't get his wallet out of his pocket in time. <laughs> Adrian started to justify his lateness now and said, fashionably late, fashionably late, that is. No such thing as fashionably late, it's rude to be late. Can you imagine you turn up on parade late? Oh, it's fashion. <laughs> Sorry, sir. It was um, fashionably late. I'm just, I'm just being fashionably late. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, question. Where is that question? It just, it's just disappeared. Oh, is that your new uh, design tenon guide, Steve? Say again. Sorry. Or yes. was was that your new design tenon guide? Yeah, it's still in trial purposes at the moment, but it's the one. Yep. Hope, hopefully, yeah. Uh... Well, you get four size, four tenon sizes on that, can we? We got tenon for the SC2, tenon for mm -hmm. the SC3 and SC4, and then mortar sizes there for the SC3 and 4, and then mortar sizes there for the SC2. Mm. Mm. So just quickly sand this up. <laughs> I, had, I had a phone call yesterday. Did just you? in the evening. I was, uh, yeah, it was only a, a little later on in the evening, about nine o'clock. My phone rang. I thought, hmm, I don't recognise that number, but I answered it anyway. And it was some guy looking looking me to make uh, stair spindles. All right. And it Six, says, I said, if you, <laughs> I said, if you want more than one, you're talking to the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do spare stair spindles, so I put them on to uh, David O'Neill, who's an, a professional turner up in Baldemina. Right. So, but he wanted me to make um, <clears throat> 20 as a batch to begin with, and then it would be repeat orders after that. Uh, I couldn't do I couldn't do that. No, no thanks. <laughs> Definitely not. CNC in my region. Well, David has a David uh, has a copy lathe, so he'll just set it up and yeah. run once he does the first one. That would bore me to tears doing that. Uh oh, Rob has just said three D went three D printing is taking over the world. It is. It is kinda. You're right. We can three D print a house now. Is right, says Andy. I've seen that little concrete thing. Um, Terry from Hackington Art says, <coughs> question, question. I'm looking forward to the Axminster tenon sized guys. Ten, oh, God, yeah, I can nearly call today. You've got to put your teeth ten, in, sunshine. <laughs> Axminster tenon sizes gauge, Steve. Oh, <laughs> give me, when you get home, Terry, send me the sizes and I'll, yeah, make, exactly. uh, and I'll make you one. 
Set you you do the design and Steve will print it. How about that, Terry? And if you get yeah, if you get your butt in gear when you get home, I'll have it done for when I come and do the demo at your club. <laughs> which is yeah. the next day. Which is the next day. Oh, well, if she's plenty of time, he's sitting on a boat doing nothing for the yeah. next day. He can, mm. Yeah, he can give me the sizes now, couldn't he? And I could have it all done by time he... Exactly. He could send you... He could easily just do a little drawing, take a picture of it and send you. All the technical drawing, the yeah. technical detail, and sit send it his, Sit there while he's having his breakfast. On, exactly. his, na- on his napkin. Or, or they, one of them £50 notes he's got in his wallet. Yeah. Or the, or the back of that old fag packet that he picks up. So. Easy enough. He just wants you to do all the work there. That's what that sounds like. Oh, that's a good idea. Fred, Fre- Frederick Day says, watching the sanding, I have just purchased £50 worth of hook and loop sanding pads and none of them stay on the mandrel. Hmm, got yeah. it. Yeah. Well, who did you buy them from, Frederick? Yeah. Need I ask? Yeah, you should buy, well, buy from well, a good... shouldn't ask. Oh, uh, uh, Rob Klensper says, uh, Frederick, you can get an interface pad that will just about hold any Velcro. There you are. Oh, call it turn link says, Steve, I've already done one. It's on the Thingiverse. All oh, right, okay, there you go. Well, Thingiverse. I'll have a look. There you go. Thingy Verse is a place, obviously, somewhere in the on the ether that you can yeah. stick designs up. Yeah, people upload their own designs oh. to uh, for three D printers that they allow to uh, they allow people to download them and use them for their own purposes. And Doug Miller has just joined. He says, "Good morning, Steve and Ryan, and all in Chatlandia." Hi, Chatlandia. Doug. How are you? I bought this squirty bottle to put my sand and cedar in, which I don't think is a good idea because I've just gone to use it and it's all clogged up at the end. Yep, that's almost guaranteed. So maybe that weren't a good idea. You, you, you'll end up with a very short spout. <laughs> yeah, yeah, be about a millimetre short length by the end yep. of the year. <laughs> yeah, because every time it clogs up, you would take the Stanley knife to it. Right, so sand and seals. <laughs> ben Jalen says, Ben Jalen says, Frederick. Did you accidentally buy Imperial Velcro? <laughs> Imperial Velcro. <laughs> There's always one in there. Oh, oh, Terry's jumped straight back in to call and says, have you included the O'Donnell, Joes? Oh, he's not one much, does he? Oh, no. Yeah, what is he like? Give me two seconds, I'll be back. I'm just going to switch my kettle on. All right, mate. All right, so we're just going to put some wax on that. I'm just going to put some Hampshire Sheen high gloss wax on that. Now, I'm not going to put loads on because obviously we've got this inclusion here. And if I put loads on, that's going to get all wax into it. So we're going to put a couple of light coats over the top of it. And we're going to try and leave that till the end so we don't get loads of wax on it. We don't need loads of wax anyway. So work away from it. And then hopefully, by the time we get the other end, there'll just be just enough wax just to give it a slight coat over the top of it and not push it into the the uh the voids oh Colin you're far too nice to that Terry fella he's just he's just putting the chat there can't remember sorry I will check the drawing <laughs> you're far too nice to somebody's own I'm drawing <laughs> alright so I need some more tissue which is in this drawer here An extractor off, don't need that on there. Pardon me. Buff that off. Uh, what was the rebuy call? says, you can put my name down for one of those, Steve. Hmm, very good. good man. So let's have a look at that. So another fine coat over that. (laughs) 
Adrian's back on again, he says. Uh, Steve, what's the wood? And yes, I know, I've been late. <laughs> Piece of ash, mate. It looks, I think it's ash anyway. That's it's what ash, I bought, yeah. That's what oh, I it bought, is ash. That's what I bought it as. No, it definitely is. So let's put that away. So we give that a final buff. Now, I've just took the bottom out of that tenon, just in case you decide to keep it. Mm. <laughs> Ben's just piped in and says, would you consider both internal and external joy, dim joy dimensions? Axe Mister has about 337 different combinations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't know they don't have it. Oh, I do. I can't say that anymore. I do have an Ice Master chuck. Oh. <laughs> it's only because I haven't sold it yet. He gave in, folks. He gave in. Right. Let's flip that. And, uh... <laughs> so, snip that up gently. Not too tight. All right, so let's just face that off. <laughs> ben Jammer is just put in the chat. Adrian, if you can't tell that, Sash, you need to hand in your I'm a wood turner card. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, sharp, oh, just uh, <laughs> sharpen this gouge up. Get this faced off. Quickly pour some boiling water over that tea bag and remove the tea bag. Well, before the water hits uh, it. No, just just uh, just it's allowed to just pour through once and then get out. I don't like my tea too strong. There we go. Sorted now. You've got a cup of tea. So I think... <laughs> Mike Juice says. Mike Juice says he did really well at the show. He didn't buy another chuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that. I know the problem there. Oops! Don't do that, Steve. I'm try and dome this. I think if I dome it. That might color, show the colours a bit better, because the light will be able to sh shine on in different angles. Let's have a look at that, see what we've got. We've got a little bit of a dome on there, which we've got a little bit, not a lot. Got a bit of that inclusion come through there, but can't do a lot about that. Right, so we've got a little bit of a dome on there. Just take it that way a little tiny bit. So I think that I'll do. So let's get that sanded up. Get a finish. And I think they said the the when I was speaking to Joe Sonia or Lynn from Joe Sonia, who was saying that either a black or a white is good for those colours, obviously depending on what colour you're using, I suppose. Um, mm -hmm. 
So, um, we'll see. Squad, squad. Oh, no. Lucy says that uh, tea has to be nice and strong. No, it doesn't. And uh, Handy says, Brian, do you hang your tea back up for the next time? Yes, I do. If you don't hang it up, it's just in a little dish and I use it three or four times and then throw away. Scottish, you know, miserable. <laughs> when you don't like strong tea, what's the point in making strong tea? They call it NATO tea, don't they? No, NATO standard is milk with two sugars. All right. That's a, that's a NATO standard cup of tea. I like weak tea. I like tea that you can actually see the bottom of the cup. No milk, then? Nope, don't have milk, no. Just tea, nothing else. Hot water and a tea bag. All good. I've got the grits quickly. Lucy says, uh, I'm like her mother-in-law. Well, thanks for that, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> Not so sure I appreciate that. Did your mother-in-law grow a beard as well, then? Uh. Oh, and, and I didn't read the, the one before that. She says, Terry, you can't call it tea. It's more like nuts pee. Well, it's tea. It comes from a tea bag, so I don't know what you're talking about. It's all good. <clears throat> I just had a notification on my computer. One drive says, look at your memories. Why? <laughs> and why is he even sending me a notification? I don't know. Computers are a mystery to me. Dark art, mate. Yeah, Ben says, when you think about it, it's, it's so weird that we have milk with tea. I mean... Uh, who would have thought that a leaf of a plant mixed with hot water and the milk of a cow would make a nice beverage? Who would have thought? That? Who punctured that up? Well, anything though, isn't it? Who thought of anything? That's yeah, that, exactly. That's that world lifetime question. It, it will obviously have been an accident, I would think. All it was was that there was, there was a tribesman cooking, cooking a cow in a boiling hot pot and a leaf from the tree fell into it. <laughs> right, there we go. All sanded up. Good. Let's just blow all the dust off of that. I've put a bit of a curve on that. I don't know if you can see that on the Go over here and see if you can see that. So a bit of a curve on it. So it sort of curves out and then tucks back in. And the, the, the idea was thinking that being a pearlescent colour, as the light hits it in different angles, hopefully it's going to shimmer a bit better. That was my thinking. Whether it'll work or not is another matter. I see. So because we're going to um, paint that, we need to seal it first. As always, you know, seal with a paint, seal after a stain. So, let's get some sealer on that and seal that all up. 
Oh, this is part of the question now. Eh? Hmm. I wonder who invented the cup of tea. Certainly. Chinese, it's... right? Some some weed dude in China. Dr. Bob's in. All Bob. the way from Chelsea, Michigan. How are you, sir? Hope you're well. So we'll just let it dry off, and then we'll give it another coat. So shall we try a black background on that for a change? For oh, a... Just, for, just for a change? Yeah, just for a change. Why not? And I'll get some white. I ain't got no white base coat. I might get some white gesso and see what it looks like on white gesso. There we go. Colin has done the, done the deed and emailed Terry a copy of the um, dimensions, which no doubt will be landing in your inbox very shortly. <laughs> Wait a minute. What has Ben said now? Amy said, can we not try a dark blue background? Dark blue? Uh, I don't blue know. If I, plum? I don't know if I've got a dark blue. Oh, you have a, a midnight blue. You have a midnight blue. I can't put stain on it now. I've it's sealed it. Stain, I've sealed it. Yeah. There you go. It's, it's got to be a paint, isn't it? Let's see what paints I've got. I don't know if I've got a dark blue. I know, I know what you meant, Lucy. I'm just winding you up there. You're fine. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, what's that one? No, I've got gadget blue. I think I've got a dark blue. Uh, let's have a look on this shelf. There you go. Ben's been on the old Google. He says the idea of adding dairy to your cup of tea. Is thought to have first originated on the Himalayan foothills of Tibet. Tibet? Hmm, according to Mr. Google, that is. I bet that was Yak. Yak milk. Uh, oh, Tibetans would traditionally add yak butter to their brew <laughs> as means of packing extra calories into their diet. Vital during the cold winter in the mountains. There you go. Wow. Sounds like that's coming straight out of a Wikipedia page. Oh, well, I've just, just, I've just disappeared in my chat. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so I've got this. Let me try, this try and blue. find it. I've got this blue. That's the darkest Ooh. blue I've got. All right. Let's get Wix, a royal blue then. Wix, Wix gloss spray paint. Ideal for creative hobbies and crafting. Ooh. What's the drying time on this, Steve? That I don't know. Let's have a look. Okay, we can be coming back next week. Uh... <laughs> Talking about first things, <laughs> Chris Dawes just jumped in and says, uh, Brian, I think the first one to eat an oyster was a thrill seeker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're right. Yeah. I just, I tried it once. Oh, red, terrible. Uh, allow 10 15 minutes between each coat, recoat within one hour or after 24 hours. Shake can well before use. We'll try it, we'll put a thing coat on and try it. If it, don't, yeah, if it don't work, we'll blame uh, who asked for us. Oh, it was Amy. Oh, uh, if it don't work, we'll blame Amy of, of the De Angelis. Give me the angel. If it don't work, Amy, it's all your fault. It's, love. Your, it's, all, it's all your fault. You're getting the blame. If you can feel the pressure building up on you. <laughs> Robert Botwood says, have you got Indian ink blue? No. Oh, oh, oh. I can't. I've sealed it now. No, no. Oh, it has, but you seal it. I could put seal, it has I sealed it. I have got Indian ink blue. I've got calligraphy paint blue. I wonder if we can just, that. just. Steve, what? spray the thing get the hot air gun out. Get on with it. We're here all day. The governor said I've got to spray it. When does the resin appear? Uh, next week. There it is. Yeah, now now it's gone. Now, now it's gone. Go. <laughs> now you see it. Now you don't. 
<laughs> Ben's away on food again, he says. I'd like to, like to know who on earth buys ox tongue. It's always in the reduced suck se section of Tesco. Can't think why. <laughs> it's actually quite nice. <laughs> I thought you were putting a light coat on. I am putting a light coat on. <laughs> uh, Lucy wants to know what we're blaming Amy for. We're the blue. Amy for the choice of colour, Lucy. The blue. We're well, not listening, Lucy. What are you asleep? Uh, the the, the sacrame blue. Adrian says, that looks like a bit of ash, Steve. <laughs> I think that you've referred to when you popped up the uh, the resin. <laughs> uh, yeah, Chris does. Yeah, Ben is is next to tripe. Yeah, I agree with that. Who would ever want to eat tripe? What is tripe anyway? Just all the bits that's left over from a cow. Oh. And the the. Lining of the stomach or something, I don't know, it's terrible, but I think it was horrible. Are your dog going? Give it to the dog. But, uh, ben will tell us just in two minutes because he's, he's hot on Google today. So Ben will let us know what tripe is. And Lucy says that looks like a nice uh, blue button. <laughs> oh, Lewis, how you doing, bud? It wasn't Lewis, Lucy. No, Lewis, Conrad Castle's in. Oh, is he? Oh, so he is. Oh, there he is. He's just appeared on my screen, too. Hello, Lewis. <laughs> he says, Hi, Travelling Terry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the wonder of returns. They call him Bray. Terry Bray. <laughs> Mike Jesus just says, Brian, go and have five cups of tea while that dries. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> might need it. Adrian likes that. He likes that blue. Jeez. Wilco's. Wilco's blue it is. He's, he's probably a Chelsea supporter. Look, Wilco gloss spray paint. I did it's this well ages. Blue. I bought this ages ago when I made one of my one of Nick's friends. Her son was big into football, and he had a FA Cup signed <laughs> football. And I made him a you know the blue stand that goes on. I made him one of those, and that's the uh, nearest blue I could get for it. That was a long while ago. There you go. Tripe refers to cow, uh, brackets, beef, bovine, I think is what you're trying to say there, Ben. St bovine stomach. But also includes the stomach of any, of any ruminants, including cattle, sheep, deer, antelope, goat, hawks, giraffe, and their relatives. There you are. It's a, it's a stomach. It's the lining of a stomach is what it is. It just sounds gross. <laughs> Terry says, <coughs> vocals went bust ages ago. He must have had it a while. I was. That's, I must have done that <laughs> eight or nine years ago. I made that for him. <laughs> Been on the shelf since then. You know, Nicky's not even here chopping carrots and they, they still can't stop talking about food. <laughs> and he's just put in here Ben, steak and kidney pie is great even better without the kidney <laughs> steak and kidney pie is quite nice actually I quite like kidney hmm. late arrival question is there resin? is there resin? Uh, yeah, he's trying to live vicariously yeah, there the, was resin. There's the resin. There was resin. There it is. Now you see it. There's the resin. No, you don't. <laughs> the resin. The resin was postponed. 
um, till another day because the big child couldn't wait to play with his new paint colours. <laughs> that's, that's why we're, that's why we've got a blue thing spinning on the right at the moment. Which is taking ages to dry, Amy. <laughs> yeah. I knew it would. But never mind. Some of us have got all day. Welcome to the Sunday lunchtime live. Let's watch paint dry session. See if you put four little black dots in the on the uh, the bit where your tannin was, it will really look like a button. <laughs> well, there. <laughs> yeah. You just make that would just make uh, Lucy's day. Oh, it's going. It's going. Oh, it's going. Look, yeah. another, another hour, we should be there. <laughs> Amy says, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and Lewis wants to know, uh, Amy, are you still stalking me? <laughs> of course, of course, yes. <laughs> she replies, absolutely, Lewis. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> McJew says, so five cups of tea later and the blue paint is still wet. Let's go in, let's go in. <laughs> Terry says, you can always go over it with black, Steve. Yeah. That's not going to make it dry any quicker, Terry. I was going to say, the base coat will still be wet though, won't it? Dust on that now. Off the back oh. of my hands. Ben wants to know is Terry missing his lathe? And his reply is yes. <laughs> He'll be gagging to get back on it when he goes. He will lie. Adrian reckons it looks a bit like a frisbee. Yeah. Mm, does a bit, yeah. Dry enough to do what we got to do. Mm -hmm. Just get a brush and brush all that <laughs> dust off of it. Everything <coughs> says good idea, Steve. Make sure it was something different. Mm -hmm. oh, that's coming off all right. Right. Doctor Bob says, "Why are you avoiding giving a big thumbs up?" Is the reason due to a, a, a lustrous host? Uh, or his outstanding, uh, outstanding, outstanding, why am I outside now? Outstanding <laughs> vocal sidekick. <laughs> no, they just don't like us. That's why they don't give us a thumbs up. Yeah, they're Simple. Just, they're, just so, they're just not appreciating, Bob. That's what it is. So they just don't yes. care. They just don't appreciate the time and effort we invest into this lives. <laughs> right. So, 14 colours. <laughs> Woo! 14 colours. So we have... Oh, I'm going to read them out if I can find the colours. No, not not them the, all. Where's the colours? You're not going to read them all out, are you? Well, I can't see where it <laughs> says what they are. Well, you've got... Uh, you've got uh, purple, cerise, yellow. <laughs> White. Lime green. Andy, be quiet. Another, another purpley pink colour. Another one. Casey red on my yesterday. Where the hell did she see them then? Don't know. 
That's why the paints are cheap. There's no colour on them. She read the colours off of them. Oh, here we go. Dark red violet. Oh, there you go. Red violet. Violet. Um. <coughs> Magenta. Yellow. Yellow green. Pearl white. Orange, blue green, blue, deep violet, deep blue, red, and green. Oh, yeah, God. Lewis was just putting the chart. You know, you can get there uh, lacquer in blue. You can. Yep. You can also get that in red. I've got some nice red lacquer. Used it for Christmas time. Right, so hmm. but basically, it's just shiny red paint. Yeah, like any lacquerous, it's not got as much pigment as it. Uh... Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, Wooden Burl says, uh, "Is it by the barcode?" Yes, you it can is. tell the color. The colors. Yeah, it is. That's where I just saw it, Haley. Yeah. There you go. Right, so hmm, on blues, obviously, you don't want violets on blues because you ain't really going to see it, are you? So let's eliminate <laughs> those. <laughs> So we've got different <laughs> shades of blues. We've got greens. I like the greens. And a red. Can you can you put the camera on them so we can see them? Oh, I could do if you really want me to. Um, just, I mean, just just a thought, like yeah. Well, we can see the top of the bottles at the moment. Ah, there we go. That's better. So red, green. That's yellow green. That's magenta. <laughs> yellow. Orange, Ooh, pearl, orange like. pearl white, deep green. You can see, I don't know if you can see the pearl effect in that on the camera. It's turquoise, you can call it that. Yeah. Blue. Sky, sky blue. Deep blue. Mm -hmm. And then, the, then the, the violets are, you've got a dark red violet, um, a red violet, mm -hmm. a violet violet, and then a deep violet. So oh there's the, there's four violets. Yeah, there's four different shades of violets, two different shades of green, and then three different shades of blue. And then obviously your red, magenta, yellow, and orange, and white. So, um, shall we go for some white over that as well? A bit of white. I'm going on. And green. White and green. White and red. White and um... White, blue, and green. Oh, okay. No, not green. Mm. Go with a colour first and just take a colour and we'll see what we're doing. What are we doing? How, how are we going to put this colour on? Mate? I don't know what, what you're asking me for. Anybody think you know what I knew what I was doing? <laughs> <laughs> are we going to sponge it on? Are we going to paint it on? Are we going to spray it on? Or? I'm not spraying it on. I was going to brush it on with a wide brush and just sort of do crisscross oh, lines. That's, that's what I was going to do. All right, okay. Well, go for it. Start with the colour and go for it. I can feel the pressure. Pick a, co pick a colour, any colour. You've got 14 to choose from, for goodness sake. <laughs> Let's get this top up. Uh, I think I need gloves. <laughs> Andy says most of those colours will join the others at the back of the drawer <laughs> and never see the light of day for years. <laughs> You're probably right. Yeah, yeah like all the other colours I've got, Andy. When I came <laughs> home last <laughs> night, Nick said to me, he said, what did you buy there? So I bought some colours. She goes, you've got three drawers of colours and you've bought more colours. <laughs> I said, well, you never have enough colours. <laughs> yeah, Rob from Clingsport is uh, making a reference to something. I'm not sure what it is. He says, black and yellow is always a good choice. <laughs> or a great, a great choice. <laughs> if you get it right, Rob. If you get it right. I have no idea to what you're referring there, Rob. Mm -hmm. Right, so let's get rid of that off that lid. Making sure we give it a good shake. So again, I'm going to put it on the board. Dull it on the board. Let's zoom this camera in a little bit so you can see what I'm not doing. So what I'm going to do is just crisscross. So I'm going to load the brush up. And with these, you haven't, like with the iridescence, you get that um, that white thing you put on too thick. With this, you don't get that, so you can build up the thickness. Don't like that. If 
Pills in the green, nice. For nothing else. No, I don't like that. Let's try a different one. Brush it around. Chat's gone quiet, I can hear it. The chat has gone quiet. <laughs> oh, let me see who's do who's saying who what's this? What handbrakes? Adrian, handbrake, what are you talking about? Someone was saying that the other time when I the other week when I had that when I did the the unboxing of the uh, 3D printer, somebody was said they had had brakes. I don't understand how <laughs> Adrian often just says, you need to play the nice music from Vision On when you're doing that. Mm -hmm. I think that'd look better with a black background, personally. It would. So let's let that dry. And then we'll put some stipple over the top of that. Um... I need some water. Let me just go grab some water quickly. Andy, the Valley Wood Turners in. Says, after all, after, afternoon all, busy getting dinner prepared. Well, good man. Just you. Lucy's got her feet up today because Mother's Day. Did you say something? I broke up as I went outside. Oh, you did? No, Andy, uh, the Valley Wood Turner, has joined us. Oh, hello, Andy. He's, are you? he's busy preparing dinner because Lucy's got her feet up today because it's Mother's Day. This is odd. Apparently. You enjoy it, Lucy. Why is Andy cooking the dinner if that's Mother's Day? She ain't his mother, is she? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, Rob says, I think my legs are recovered from New York. Uh, got run over twice, stabbed with a walking stick, uh, and a ram ra ram raided by a nutter with a walking frame. <laughs> that's true when you're going to find all the old biddies. That's what you get That's what you get when you go to on the shows. <laughs> or, or as Terry called it, his cripple chair. Ooh. <laughs> uh, well, enjoy that. Chris Todd says, I remember listening to a wireless when I was young. Yeah, it used to be called the wireless, and then they were suddenly called the transistor radio. Oh, really updated then, <laughs> when they stopped using valves. James Dunzan. Hi, James. Hi, James. Welcome along, buddy. And he says, dinner's going to be lovely tonight. It's beans on toast. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. If not, why not? They dry quick. Nice. Nice, nice. Right, so I'm going to sponge on some colours over the top of that, I think. So let's get some sponges. So let's go for some nice bright colours. Shall we use orange and yellow? Oh, yes, why not? If not, why not? Let's do actually orange, yellow, and green. I'm dying to see what Doug this is. Doug Miller says he needs to go. I'll be watching the rest later. Good to see you all. So. Bye. See you later, Doug. Thanks for coming over. Bye, Doug. Catch you later, mate. Uh, 
All right, so let's spread this out a little bit on me board. Very pearly, very pearly indeed. They don't go as far as the ir the iridescence. Need a bit more. I mean. Roast beef and Yorkshire pudding with sponge and custard for pudding, says Lucy. And he was just bluffing with the beans on toast. <laughs> I'd have preferred on the beans on toast. <laughs> oh, I don't know, roast beef and Yorkshire puds. One with some uh, nice boiled potatoes and roast potatoes with a little bit of roast turnip or roast, sorry, not toast turnip, roast carrot on the side. Lovely. So that's the green. So let's do the orange next. Let that draw. Oh, cap's already off that one. Do, 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 do. Spread that about a bit. Get the hot air going and just dry that green off so it doesn't bleed in. So now the green, no, not the green, the orange. This orange. Oh, well, Lucy meant syrup pudding in the sponge uh, in the microwave. Uh, what about that? Oh, no, I'm not so sure about that. Quite liking these colours, though. I think, no disrespect to the blue, I think the blue's not doing them any favours because obviously the darker the colour, the more you enhance the colours out, don't you? You push well, them. They, they... The white pearlescent it seems to be working on the rim where, where there's a bit of light glinting on it, you know? Yeah. But we'll try it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I did say you can either use a light base coat or, or uh, a light, a, a dark undercoat. So this is the thing about trying, isn't it? You don't know until you try. So this is the yellow. So we can have a bit of sponge. Do 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 do. 
Lucy's is going to do the roasties in the air fryer. I do as well. They're nice. Lots of greasy eye. No, they're not. They're turning nice. Just give them a nice and dusting crispy. Of oil on them. Yep. Nice and crispy. I love, I love fluffy roast potatoes with crispy on the outside. That's how I like them. Me too. And Nick totally. boil, Nick boils ours and then does them in the. Yeah, boil them for ten minutes and then roast them. Yeah. Try them and smash them a wee bit. Apparently, is uh, what uh, Jamie Oliver always says, isn't it? Smash them. Right, so let's just dry that. Yeah, just just break them up a wee bit so they kind of got little bits on them. They're crisping up much better. Oops. So let's just let that dry. Just dry that. Out <laughs> Doctor Bob says so far the color selection has not done anything positive for my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. I know not what you mean. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a little tram line around this outer edge here, and another one just in there from where we're going to hollow out. I'm just going to black that. So let's get rid of these glubs. We'll get a small skew and just put a little tiny tram line in there. Uh, do we use a skew? Uh, you can. That's what you're going to do. So just a little tiny tram line in here. Yeah, well, just use the point of your skew. Flat on the to the rest of it. And then another one round about here, I think. That's better. So then we just better. so we just want a bit of black in there. So I'm going to get a black pen and put some black in there. Marker, pencil, crayon, whatever you want to call it. If I can get it out of the box. So it's just a little tiny felt tip pen. There's Pete, which was the trees. I missed them coming in. Oh, Pete. Hello, Pete. Oh, that feels like a good pen. Is it right? Oh, it does right. Not very well, though. Oh. That's better. Still not very well. You know, if I didn't want to, let's see if I got another one. That's not very good, that one. I had a permanent marker here somewhere. Where's that gone? Do, 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 do. Why is it you can never find anything when you want it? Well, no, because you didn't prepare and have it by the hand, that's why. No, because it's like watered resin. <laughs> 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 right, it's got to be a black marker pen in here somewhere in one of these drawers. It's bound to be somewhere. I've got 30,000 pens. 
but not the one I want. Aha, what have we got here? The benefits he used to work at Ber Beryl, hey? Indeed. I could do with a black calligraphy pen, that's what I could do with. Hmm. What's that one? That'll do. Peace, pieces. I think you've got to slow the lift there a bit, Steve. Those inks are slow moving ones. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't working either. Slow moving inks. What have we got that's black? Bit of intrinsic, I suppose. On a brush. See if that works. On a real narrow brush. That one there. <laughs> It's either kill or cure, one or two. It was, it was. Makes use of his button, but laminate. I did think that, Mick. I didn't want to do that. Really? If I can get a bit of intrinsic in it, that should be all right, because I've cut through the, the bit I sealed. There you go, that looked better. That's better, that's better. We got there in the end. You're dead. I think the colours aren't too bad. But different when you get to see them in the daylight. Yeah. See how pearlescent they are. It's hard to tell on a screen. Like. Yeah, they're, they're not. And because of the way they're sat as well, don't really help them, does it? No. We're, uh, we're busy talking about air fryers in the chat. That's why there's not much. Uh... <laughs> Lucy bought one from the uh, from Tesco's for £105. Wow. Right, well, just a just a light dusting of acrylic lacquer over the top of that, just to seal the colours in. Let's get that dried off. Get the middle turned out. All right, so let's just gently turn that middle bit out. Going to leave around about three or four mil that side of our um, black line. Similar sort of distance to what we've got here. So let's put it on a, that camera. Mm -hmm. So just nibble that away. Ooh, tool rest moved. Nearly. Easy. Easy. Nearly, <laughs> nearly.
So we could go a lot deeper in that. Let's go on to a yeah. small bowl gouge. You certainly good. Very optimal colours, says Colin, with wizardry. Yep, Ben says the only thing he uses his oven for now is pizza. You can you can do pizza in the uh, air fryer as well. These are current in small spaces, small pieces even. But you got a big air fryer. Mm, yeah, that's true. You get do get ones with big drawers. I bought mine ages ago. Yeah, we had, little, we had a little one. nearly two years ago now. We had a little one and then Casey bought us a bigger one for Christmas. Mm. Right, so just gently sand that out. Use the little mini, little inch sanding pads on it, I think. I think the, the uh, air fryer we have is one of those ninja jobbies. Yeah. Sort of two drawer ninja thing. So when you open the doors, it goes, ah. Oh. Just quickly run these up through the grits. <laughs> Pizzas. Can't you just fold up the pizza? <laughs> yeah, just fold it off. <laughs> That'll work, yeah. <laughs> they have a pizza sandwich then. That's maybe a new fashion, Pete. All right, so that's up to 400. A little bit of sand and sealer on the middle of that, just to seal it. That camera always looks fuzzy to me. Um... Doesn't look the clearest. Well, is, it, is it trying to focus on your logo there because it's white? Yeah, it could be. It shouldn't be because it's on manual focus, so it should focus where I tell it to focus. But it's okay now. All right, so. But it's went fuzzy around the edges now when you're standing there. Oh, I don't, hmm. I don't know what it is. It's clear as a bell there now. Whenever it moves, it goes a wee bit fuzzy. Might be the pattern, though, might not. Did. Right, so just get a little bit of wax and put it in the middle of that.
So there we go. Just a little bit of a buff in the middle. Oops. Looking good, that's Steve. Like the colours now. We'll see if that's pearly when I uh, take it out of the chuck and put it against the light. Mm. Indeed. Right, so let's get it out. Oh, yeah, it's got a little bit of a pearl to it. So. Yes, no, see it? Well, you can, eh? Well, you definitely can. That's a little bit of a pearl. Not keen on the colours. Not as the colour combination. Oh, Co not the colour combination. Combination, I think. Hmm. Well, I think little... it's great. I think it's okay. okay anyway. Like anyway. We was testing the colours, so that's what it was all about. So I wonder if it would have been better if you'd have left a little bit of the blue showing through, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, oh. maybe. Yeah, because I've covered the kind of things. I've coloured the blue completely, haven't I? So. Mm -hmm. So. The other thing about the uh, uh, coloured pieces is totally dependent on the person looking at it. Yeah. One person thinks it's wonderful; somebody else hates it. Now, there's definitely a bit of pearl lessons in that. Yeah. yeah, you can see the pearl on it. Yep. Definitely see the pearl yeah, on it. Yeah, it's nice. Well, you can see a bit of blue through there now. That's not as bad. When you get it close up, you can see a bit of blue through. Yeah, you can just see it through. Lights well, not doing no favours. Just see it yep. through there. There. Yeah, no. but, yeah. That's nice. Good job. So, so to try those colours, like I said, it was all about trying the colours more than anything. So, um, um, thank you very much, folks. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be playing around with these colours more um, with different backgrounds. I'm going to get some white gesso and see if I can see what it's like on white. Obviously, the darker colours might benefit being on a lighter background where the lighter colours mm. might benefit being on a darker background. But yeah. it's a case of playing around with it and seeing what works with what. But other than that... Um, Certainly will be something to watch for no, for sure. Hmm. Once I have a play and get to know how to use them a little bit better, then uh, mm -hmm. we will we will see what we can do. But other than that, that's it. Um, like I said, it was more about, well, I didn't mind doing whether I was doing the resin all this, to be honest. But at least that won't take me so long to clear up now, will it? Yeah, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyway, that's it. I will take some photographs off this and stick Good it job, up Steve. on the um, on Facebook just so you can get a better picture because the camera never really does it justice. Um and then I'll also change the thumbnail as well on the on the live because obviously yeah we don't want to let people think that we'll turn a bit <laughs> of resin they come around and find this and have it then I'll end up with loads of people going oh you've clickbait clickbait no we don't want that oh yeah so, so anyway that's the project um, nice little mottled effect little bit of an OG shape not totally OG but a little bit of an OG shape just natural on the back little tendon in the middle there I may take that off I may leave it I'm not 100% sure yet um but again, I might turn this down and just practice, use this as a practice piece. Hmm. So um, then we um, obviously used the blue, the blue, which was Amy's fault. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Amy, fault. It was Amy's fault. But anyway, um, we uh, did the blue. Uh, then we put some white, pearl white over the top. Then we used the green, not the yellow green, the green. Then we used um, the orange and then yellow over the top. You can't really see the yellow very well. To be honest, it sort of blended in with the yellow and the orange and the green. Sort of, you can just see it, but not. It's not vibrant. But again, that may be because we're on a on a on. The, it may benefit on a on a black background, the yellow. But again, it's trial and error. So anyway, that's the project. Something simple, something to play around with. Um, so I do appreciate everybody who came over and watched today. Very much thanks to Brian. Oh, let's bring Brian back. For no a problem. <laughs> Very no much, problem at all, Steve. Very much appreciate Welcome. it, Brian. I know I dropped you in a little bit, but... No, you're all right, mate. No bother at all. I knew he was home alone and he was sitting in the corner, snivelling in the corner. What else was I doing? I was just sitting here, <laughs> snivelling to myself. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so anyway, guys, um, you need to address that dandruff. What have I got bits in my hair? Oh, yeah. That's not dandruff. It's woodruff. It's woodruff, it's woodruff yeah. <laughs> anyway... 
Uh, thank you everybody for coming over and joining us. We will Good see job. you on Friday. I think it oh, might yeah. be special guest there where I'm next Friday. Mm. Mm. We'll have to check oh, that. Are we getting a hint or not? Do you want a hint? Well, it's always a good thing to give them a bit of a teaser. Okay. Um, If it is, I'm sure it's the 15th special guest. Is that next next Friday, the 15th? Yeah. I'm sure it's uh, Les Fawn. Les Fawn, the one and only Les Fawn. The wood wizard that is Les Fawn. Les Les Fawn. The legend. So anyway. (laughs) Oh, uh, no, he's a leg end. He's hardly a legend. <laughs> <laughs> He's been called worse, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> so anyway, guys, um, we will see you on Friday. Uh, yep. Other than that, have a great week. Thanks for coming over and joining us. If I see you yesterday at Newark, then thank you very much to everybody who came over and said hello. I apologise if I didn't know your name, but unfortunately, um, I'm absolutely rubbish with names. And the, the benefit is you guys see us and know who we are. I haven't got a clue. I just get random people walk up to me and go, hello, Steve. I'm like, I'm sorry, but I don't know who you are. Um, I know it sounds a bit rude, but we don't know who you are. So it's always nice to meet the people who who come over there and support the channel, but I really do appreciate that. So other than that, we're going to go. Have a great week. Speak to you soon. Take care and bye for now. See you, folks. Bye for now, guys. That's all, folks.